Thank you very much, Stevie. That's a brilliant way to start the day once more. TNC up against PSG LGD. A couple of lineups. It's going to be interesting to see. But we will see, as this should be. Oh, some beautiful, a really exciting one. clapping from the crowd and synchronization of Chalice and his drum. As that's is that a penguin on a surfboard? I don't know, but I love it. I love it too. Gabby, Gabby. he's not loving it. He is so, dead. Oh my goodness, he got baited by the penguin. Whew. Can't underestimate the potential of them skill and gush there. They even are going to throw the nuke from the CM2 to secure that last hit. Okay, so they get. They get that, but it is split three ways. Because they, uh, yeah, so they're gonna, because of this, they can look to dive with this creep wave. Get on to Arme. See, they're able to redirect the aggro back towards their own creep. They're surrounding Arme. Arme. He's in trouble. He's, I mean, Shaman's heading over, but he's not gonna get here in time. This play's worked out for TNC. Now we'll see the two supports turn up. FYNX Nova, but they could be in trouble as well. Tim's is gonna look to run down FY. Another slow out from AU and the damage from the Iron Shell. Ticking FY down. That Orb of Venom helping out as well. Won't quite be enough to kill him, but the aggression from TNC. We're seeing it already here on this top lane. FY comes in for another blast, but that's going to give the chance for Tim's to turn to charge. Get on top of him, and FY has got stick charges, but with an Iron Shell and the dive, Tim's has one more hit to get the kill. Can he find it? He can. The Iron Shell from Cuckoo ticks down FY. As FY sort of gave up his life there, Tim's will go for the deny before FY is back in the lane to have a X. chance of grabbing the XP. Now, opportunity to move around the map a lot with their supports, but if this sort of trial lane continues up top, they may want to focus a little more sort of you know, having one of the supports being static and keeping that lone druid alive in mid lane. Whoa. Straight up outplay from maybe solo killing Armel's TA. But now he can even set up for kills in the mid lane too, if he does see an opportunity. Let's we'll see if. Arm out, gets he's caught out a little too far. He's going to start trading hits back towards maybe, but he's positioned pretty deep. So FY able to easily walk around, get the wrap around, shackle into the stun. Tim's does come in, but it's not quite in time as the lightning from maybe claims Armel's life once again in this middle lane. They have a lot of ways to catch though, right? With the Spirit Breaker, with that Templar Assassin, their vision as well as their ways to chase targets can be pretty high. So we go arm out. Arm out. Let's get gone upon here again with the Mug Golem. The chase down. He has the refraction. Arm out now with the turn. Tim's trying to block him off. Keep arm out safe. He's level six though. And Tim's is dead. Maybe claiming another kill. This Leshrac. He wants getting more. Out and out of control. Heads in. Lands the stun. Arm out. Uh -oh. oh yeah. He turns and maybe just giving up his life. Arm out. He's got refraction back up. And as soon as maybe gets in and finds the the kill, he loses his life. Charging from Tim's TNC. Trying to strike back, but a big one there. They can look to try and lead in and get catch offs, but when it comes to this sort of group up and push, it's very hard for TNC's heroes to do much at the moment. Mid lane. As they'll lose the top tier one tower, they do get the kill on maybe. FY It's going to drop the ult, but there's the control. Tim's able to control FY, keep Armel safe. They'll pick up two kills in the middle lane. Um, he's like, please don't let me die when I'm about to buy Relic. Like, please, please team. And he is very close to it, so. Um, Setting up around that area. If they get the Radiance, that could be the potential that leads them to just go into the Roche pit. Midday, they're going to have a good shot. He's just been able to run down Chalice. Chalice, he's got, got the Ravage. They are going to surge out Gabby. They want to try and commit for this. There's no tier one tower, so no easy backup able to come in towards the tower. Another trap slow. They're able to just run him down. The Roots out, and TNC will manage to kill off the Tide. Chalice is gone. Very nice. That's, I mean, really interesting how like, the Bristle back versus the Tide, right? And they found Arme as well. The coup, just Gabby constant. He's on top of the Lone Druid. The control's there from Tim's. There's a good fit, but it doesn't matter. The Iron Shell AoE. They Cuckoo just... gets the double, and LGD's game it is slowed down massively, and TNC, they're making the most of it. It's a dangerous area. Armel, you could see, being smart. Heads uh... in, heads straight back out. He knows that he's going to sort of cause this response from PSG LGD. The question is if TNC want to try and take this fight. Still 1k from Radiance on PSG LGD. I'm Gabby. They know this. It's going to start poking, starting to force some spells, some cooldowns out of the side. They do get the stun out. They're going to try and go from here. A lot of change for the Ravage oh as well. Oh my god. They've got enough. Gabby's dead. Charging coming from Tim's, but it's straight away stopped by the Hex. The Shackle as well. FY turns. Another blast. Tim's trying to move forward. He's backed up by the pipe. They'll get themselves on top of nice one. Nice vacuum. vacuum wall onto the three of them. They've 
already taken out, maybe. Now charging again, they've got Arme. Jump forward onto Chalice. The LGD's lost two cores. Arme searched up by Cuckoo. He's ready to try and dive for more. Another trap slow out onto Chalice. Chalice, he's up on another high ground. Does Arme want to continue diving? He certainly does. Tims is charging in. It's too and far. Tims, oh, he wanted to. He wanted to, but there was FY by. Tim just walks in with bulldoze, yeah. and they can't control him. Like, he gets hexed, he gets shackled. It doesn't matter, they and only last for a rush. fraction. And now they get the rush. That's Eden. all they need, a two for Such one. Such a fast pace. Space is there. TNC now with a 4K lead. Anytime Gabby and Armel get on top of him, they've taken the tier three tower, TNC. They're onto the barracks. PSG LGD have got to do something soon. They will have the Ravage in 10 seconds. Radiance is finished but as well. Gabby charging in. Tims as well immediately with the surge down on top of FY. FY's down and out for 45. He'll buy back. The Chalice. Ravage. Ravage. It's a big one as well. Catches them all. But do they actually have the damage to follow up? Gabby's in. The vacuum. vacuum. Oh my goodness. He gets all four of them. Gabby's still alive on the front. The stacks building up on Arme. They have lost three of them. The Aegis is going to be back bringing Armel into the game. They've got the Hex, can they kill him? They're gonna try, but Armel's out with the blink. They are able to stop it for now. They go for the grab onto Gabby. They want to try to get and more out of this. I don't know if they can kill this Bristol though, Gabby. He's able to just walk away. Surge is there as well for Cuckoo to play it safely. Maybe he's trying to catch them. TNC, they are ready to turn though. They know that they can. The vacuum's out onto the two of them. Armel jumps in into the Hex from FY, but Gabby, he's still free to run around the fight. Armel. They do get a sub from maybe onto Armel. Now with the shackles, can they kill Gabby? Cool Spray's continuing to fly out. Gabby, Surge up once more for Cuckoo. He's running away. The Radiance is burning him down, Gabby. Has he got any other way to play his way out of this? I don't know if he has, unless he can juke his way all the way out. He'll go for the TP. Oh, no, oh. they found him. FY with the zap. As TNC, they tried their best to push the high ground, but PSG, LGD are able to shut them down, push them back. See if they're able to do anything with this, are mate? He's going to stay outside. He's going to see it pace. coming. He's, he's going to know. He's, he's going to be able to play back with the fear, you would imagine. He turns into the beefier form. Charge does still connect though, unable to stop Tims in time. And Tims, therefore, able to get the ult off Armel. Coming in with a BKB, focusing down the lone druid. Do they have the damage to take him down? It looks like they do. Armel's gone. Now they turn their attention towards Chalice. Chalice, force back. The creep wave is about to come in as well for TNC. This he, is 50 seconds without the lone druid. He saw it coming too. The range racks are falling. There's the buyback now. Chalice heads in. No ravage though available. Gabby playing around the surge from Cuckoo, allowing him to be very mobile in these fights. Maybe lands the stun. Focus on Gabby. Quill sprays are out though. PSG LGD, they know. They've got to be a little careful how they poke at Gabby right now. Have this uptime that makes it you know, very hard, really limits what maybe he's able to do on the front of these fights as a lash. Arcane Rune Bristle back. We see him spamming oh. up to 300, plus 340 they're, damage. They're going to try and find this PSG. They're going with a big wraparound from this smoke on the river. See if they can get the opening as there's the jump. FY immediately committing with the Serpent Wars. He goes for the shackle. Ravages out from Chalice. They're on, they're on top of our mouth. They've got him. Burst him down. Five man vacuum comes through as they'll try and turn things around. There'll be a buyback from Armel. AU with the big ult. The glimmer as well. They can't quite cancel the it. A lot of damage out here. AU in the midst of it all. They've lost two on PSG. Oh my Armel god. without buyback. Two spies back as well. They know that this for TNC is the fight for them to take. Armel looks towards maybe. He's popping the bloodstone heal early to try and put them off. FY goes for the TPA. Won't make it. It's Gabby with the triple kill. They're chasing down for maybe as well. He's back to the shrine, but the three dead with no help as he'll use himself up. But TNC, they'll clean him up as well. Four dead on PSG LGD and three of them without buyback. Arme without buyback for a minute. Now they've got this big window. Ame's dead for 40 seconds. Like you said, no buyback. They're going to threaten. And it, I mean, it was a, a risky play as well from PSG LG coming in with that wraparound. Anytime you're anywhere near the shrine, you know these buyback plays are going to come in from both Armel and Tims. And now they're charging in, diving the base. x nova has gone. Chalice, he's trying to TP, but the root's out. He does have the Kraken shell, so we'll be able to walk back to the fountain. Almost certainly more as four of PSG just left to sit on the sidelines and watch their base get dismantled. AU's already prepping for the mid lane. He's like pinging it out. He's like, I'll clear this creep wave. His team decides against it though. They're going to back up, play, play the safer safe. game. Play it safe. Heen, Heen agrees. Such a beautiful winner here coming out for TNC. And now Armel, sure, has to use the buyback where maybe it can be a little fear. He dies. Fight can be a little difference. Now he's going to have Aegis to at least help him out there. Maybe even Aegis and Cheese. Actually give the Aegis to Gabby. Just Sur could end up trapping up your teammates. Surging, huh? <laughs> Chalice. Chalice. I mean, Gabby, he's just in on the front. 
Out. F1 and Hame are wrapping around right now. Let's, I mean, what, wrap around for what? What can they do? They look like they're trying to catch the TA. I they mean, know he doesn't have Aegis. They know he took the cheese. Let's see if they can get the jump on him. As Gabby, he's just hitting the racks. The racks are falling. Him. Let's see, FY. He's got the control, Serpil Moore's down, but Tim's immediate reaction. Faction Wall's down, already in trouble. Gabby pops the BKB, looks towards Arme. Tim's again and gets another charge through. That's FY down. Chalice will pop the Ravage. He's in. Can they get anyone down? They'll get Tim's. What else can they get? Arme's already dead. Gabby dominating. Now on top of X Nova. He's just running in against the three of them. Chalice and maybe. Can they do anything to hold this man back? They'll Yule's up the Bristle. But he's pretty much full HP. Gabby can just return to hitting racks, hitting heroes, whatever he fancies. Takes no Arme damage. and FY dead for a minute. The top racks are taken down. They'll move towards mid. I mean, from the 10th minute, well, I guess what about the 15 minute onwards, it really just felt like LGD, they left the game. TNC, they're walking all over them. His bristle back is just immortal. Look at him. In the midst of three heroes, yep. 55 they HP per second. do anything about that map as Gabby will now get stunned, but still half HP. He's got the Aegis for two minutes. He could just stand his ground, take these structures. Just turns his back. And there we have it again. Cuckoo, these multi-hero vacuums every single time. PSG LGD just getting tossed around, vacuumed about. They will burst him the once, but Gabby is going to be back with vengeance for round two. As here he goes, they're controlling our the down. FY Armel's able to get the BKB, the cheese off as well. FY will go for the ghost set to TP out, but Gabby he needs to go nowhere. As he knows, Chalice very low. A fear will spread the bristle back away from the tide and will keep him alive. And maybe who's maybe he's eight, four, and ten in this game. But he's still, it's its just too much of them grouping up, like TNT just grouping up and barreling together at PSG LGD with that one advantage they got. They're trying to hold him off here, the Hex. See if they've got nearly enough damage or control, they'll bring him down a little bit. Shackles as well, but Tim's straight over and across, freeing up Gabby, charges into FY. Fear as well to send back the principal, but AU! Oh, oh my god! god. Thank you! The combo cuckoo! He drags them all back in to a beautiful ult from AU! As the buybacks will come out, they do find Tim's, but TNC, again, these team plays cuckoo with these vacuums again and again and again. He does get shackled, they will get vengeance, they will take him down. Then mid Brax falling it's precariously helped. low to going out, but they do keep it alive. In terms of waiting for Roche as well, could also be appealing. Yeah, coming back up pretty soon. They want to play it safe. TNC could certainly look to do that. It's Chalice. Gabby doesn't need to play it safe. No, he doesn't. He can go where he wants. It's Chalice being poked away from the pit. Kuku surging in as well. Oh, Ooh. he's on the cliff. The he's bear is the up clip. there too. They're both up there. The melon and the bear. Oh, he does manage to force down, but the bear's still up there. He'll be able to recall it down though. There we go. He's down and out. Let's see if they can go for Chalice still though. He's falling pretty low. Hand the back gone. line. FY, he found Armel. Oh, but the wards are where Armel's dead. FY doing the best he can to bring them back in. AU just stand his ground with the BKB and the ult. Maybe looks for the stun. AU, they have to step away from him. Gabby still continuing to chase down. Chalice is tied under. As Chalice falls lower and lower, another grab. FY, the shackles on Taya with a vacuum. vacuum. Three. Gabby, he's already picked up two of them. FY holds back, sticks around the extras out to take down AU, but the buybacks come out from both AU and Armel. They're charging in. Tims and uh, Gabby ready to go for more. Arme TP's out just in time, but FY, and maybe they've been left behind. Triple kill for Gabby. He can now look to go to the high ground. Yule Scepter will stop him. Cuckoo's got the surge though. Gabby continuing to dive in, chase down. PSG LGD still sitting at full HP on the Bristleback. Chalice dead for 75, no buyback. Arme trying his best to push Armel away from this final set of racks in the mid lane. Gabi now turning over to help out. Kuku Shiva's guard slows down Arme. PSG LGD, they will stand their ground. Surrounding this final racks, Gabi, he's back in. Another grab from FY. He's facing forward. Trying to do his best to allow maybe the opportunity to get the damage out. So a lot of disabled. Does bring Gabi pretty low this time. Can they finish him off? They're blocking him, but again, a vacuum. Onto the three. Shackles from Grab FY. Again. They're still trying everything they can to kill off Gabi, but they cannot. He's out. Back to safety.
They're buying time that PSG LGD. 40 seconds until Chalice is back in. They've got the glyph. They're holding it a little bit longer Can here. Push TNC back once oh, more. Oh, and you messed up. He just used his ulti. See, they've got the hex again. Locked down from FY. Has the grab onto Gabby. Gabby needs help. He needs it now. The wall's been dropped. Gabby's still alive. Gets the he's chance the to put the BKB. And now he's ready to die to find the back. Thank you. Cuckoo. On to the three of them. They're all dead on PSG. GG is called. And TNC will be able to close up game one. Holy moly. They made them work for it a little bit they there, did. but TNC, they plan, they stuck to it, and this last pick, Bristleback, it, was the absolute dream. It really was. They, they just could put him on the front of it all. Thank you very much, GBS. TNC versus LGD. Game two. Looking at these drafts, we're getting a lot of fun. We've got Magnuses, we've got Enigmas. The finishes from both sides, though. FY, we see him on the minimap there. He's following AU. He has boots finished up too. He's just keeping tabs on this Grimstroke, just making sure that maybe knows if he's getting set up on it. Maybe he is getting set up on. There are TPs to help. They're going to turn their attention towards AU. AU has got the x but will be dodged straight away by the Snowball. Malefis is out onto FY, but there's the slide of fist. Maybe he's going to be the one to clean up that first blood as he comes across and gains that gold bounty. Heading in towards this mid lane from PSG LGD. They want to try and make a go onto the Kunker. It's not easy. It's got the two braces, the boat ready to go. DD on the Ember Spirit, though. DD. See how far that walks forward, FY. Level 4 empowered He's as well. He's going to lead in. Wave of Terror is out and on power him. He's got the boat coming out, so will have that damage resistance. Have they got enough to fight through it? RP committed as well by Chalice. Gets the two of them. Jump forward with the remnants, but Armel, he's still alive. Walking it off. He's too tanky. Getting the boat off in time, allowing him to walk off. They they will lose AU. FY still trying to chase. He's, He's on the mana front. Incredibly long. There's no shrine. Armel has to be has to try to duke this one out. He can't be seen. See if FY's gonna be able to get if he's able to throw one spell out, but he's gone the Ooh. wrong way. Arm out. You get so much gold back from just doing these stacks. When your carries go farm them, you're getting a lot out of it. And you're getting your levels when you're making moves elsewhere anyway. And up Gabby. Top, now look to Gabby. He's got the Blade Fury, goes for the TP out. I've got the swap, ready to cancel it. As Gabby, the Blade Fury ends, and so does his life. Can't get that one off when you're versus Avenge as well, even your Magnus too. You know that there's a Magnus empowering not only one core in this game, it's two. He's doing it both on that Slark as well as that Ember Spirit, just keeping them boosted forward. Chalice bottom. Easy combo here from Armel, and into the Inkswell stun. Very it's nice. an easy catch. The Kunker. Grimstroke combo. You get that X mark, it's a lot of disable. I'm wondering if it could be one of those possibilities, because then he doesn't have to stay near the fight for to deal with that RP, or even to deal with like a lot of the slight spam. He can just use it, and he just buys actually a full Crimson Guard, as I'm saying it. Okay. That's also I mean, pretty good. But that's where anytime you see someone sort of save that money, he's definitely considering all his options. And yeah, that's, I was very curious to see what it was going to be as... Mid lane arm out. He's got the drag back on to FY Gabby, surrounding the two of them. X Nova will swap FY back out. Actually, that was X-Nova to walk off as well. So with that swap, everybody's kept safe on LGD. Soulbind will be thrown out to Chalice, but nobody close by his side. Slight change oh combo from maybe catches out the two of them. But AU getting healed up by Cuckoo. GA's out as well. They're trying to turn towards Chalice. Blade Fury's out. Chalice being brought down low. Tiebreaker hit from Armel. They've claimed two. They're now looking towards Arme. Arme's had to pop the Shadow Dance and run. As TNC able to turn and fight there isn't really the greatest. Crimson, only 46 seconds, so he's going to be able to have that frequency. And yeah, we saw that turnaround. They are still very tanky on the side of TNC. PSG LGD has to be careful how they make those aggressive plays. Let's see. They're backing off, arm out. I was you to get self back to base, refuel, get back in. FY is on top of him. Huge burst with a slide of fist. There you're trying to get away the Crimson Guard, keeping him safe. Mex popped as well. There's the swap back, the combo, the X mark grab onto FY, but he gets the snowball dodge out. FY still alive for now. Now starts to walk away. The black hole on the back line, stopping them off. But X Nova will cancel it. RP's out onto the two of them. Throw chalice. They're looking towards Cuckoo. Cuckoo and Tim's falling low. Tim's is down. But they've already lost Arme. And now with the X mark drag back, Arme can try and find more. He's on top of Chalice. Chalice trying to run away. X Nova with the magic missile. Holds back Arme. Can't quite finish off Chalice, he can turn, try for the tiebreaker, but he's already dead. PSG LGD will kill him off in time. And now maybe ready to chase for more. Cuckoo goes for the TP out. He will manage to get himself out to safety. The Omni Slash comes out from Gabby, but they group up. They surround him. Gabby's trying to run, but four hungry members of PSG LGD looking for blood. And they'll surround Gabby, punch him up, FY, and they'll take him down as well.
as they hold the fight on that top lane. Got, I don't even know how many sleight of fists off in the fight, maybe 12 plus sleight of fists, and now he's approaching a desolator on top too. Top, arm out. They're on top of them, Armour gets the boat out, but there's a magic missile, they have the control, Armour gets the stats, he gets the kill. That's a big mistake there for TNC, they're losing Armel in that situation. PSG LGD, they, they're probably suspecting something's going on here. They're hitting a tier 2 bottom with an Ember Spirit and there's no reaction just yet. They're starting to make moves. X Nova preparing, TPing to that tier 3 so his teammates have quick TPs in the front. So the last fight, in fact, the black hole, black hole is being straight up used. They've already got the Zebel on the back line straight away into the silence. They just find maybe Tim's no hesitation. And that's a big catch is now maybe, maybe forced to, to decide whether he wants to try and buy back if the rest of his team want to fight it. He's got about 50 seconds for it now. We'll see if PSG OGD do want to try and fight around that timing in mind. And they, they do smoke up, so they want to try and do something whilst that black hole's not there. They've yeah. been unable to really find that timing before now, but with the BKBs, they're good to go. They've they're got forward. Armel, he's got the X mark out, so we'll be able to drag himself back, but there's the potential dive from maybe. He's going to jump straight in. He's looking to go deep, and with the BKB, he's committing. The remnant, he's on top of AU. They'll find one with the soul out. Armel's still alive. He's turning in the top three house. Finally, they'll finish him off. There'll be a buyback from AU. No buyback available from Armel. He is dead for 50. Cuckoo caught on the front lines. He's going to be turned towards by FY. They're trying to head in another chains. Holds back both Gabby and AU. We'll remove it with the Blade Fury. They'll now do it to jump in. RP Ooh. down onto the water. Then he kills off AU. That's a die back on the Grimstroke. PSG LGD keeping the pressure up high. Jump in with the Magic Missile. FY goes in with a snowball onto Cuckoo. But Cuckoo, he's so tanky. They can't quite do anything about the Omni Knight. They'll head back, focus on the objective, get the Tier 1 Tower. Ember Spirit, they also have Blink on Tusk. They've gotten a couple of big items here for their for their side here to protect their cores. Kind of spot out action with the Wave of Terror, but TNC can themselves right back. A loop for the lead in with the X Mark, but already maybe. He's just going straight towards the back lines, reveals himself, starts to poke in, jumps in looking for AU, and there you said That's it. The support is gone. Nothing AU can do to keep himself alive. BKP's been used by maybe. He's trying to chase for more. He's found Gabby in the trees. Gabby does have the healing ward out. Will now be cut down. There's the, the jump chalice, the blink, the RP, catches the two of them, but there's the counterplay, the torrent, the bomb. It's out. Ame tried to commit Cuckoo. Moving in with the GA. The Omni says, Tims is in. The Black Hole, but he gets cancelled immediately. The swap out. The Black Hole cancels there, but they've still lost FY on LGD. They'll go towards the tree line. X Mark catches out X Nova. They've found two. They're trying for Ame. Ame's committing. He's got a lot of SNG stacked up. Moving in with the Shadow Dance. Looking for Cuckoo. Cuckoo's trying to hide. He's healing up. The Dark Pack damage isn't quite enough. A heal's out. Cuckoo's able to get away from there. Now the X is on to Ame, but Maybe Chalice is still around. They'll get the drag on. Maybe he's back in. Full L, full mana. Uh, AU just has to keep right back. So hard for Otherwise, him. Otherwise, he's not going to get a chance to get a single spell out in these fights. They're eyeing up Gabby. I, I, and FY. He's got the lead in. Play Fury's out. Jump in for Tins. Malefist. Swap back on to Gabby. Bringing him towards the rest of the team. But in fact, Gabby doing a lot with the Blade Fury on top of FY. FY's dead. They'll try and turn towards Arme, but Arme committing with a BKB. Heading in, looking to try and get the healing ward for the micro. Gabby keeps the healing ward away. Jump in for maybe on the back lines. He finds Tims, who can look to commit for more with the BKB and the Miona. He can just keep hitting away at them all. Cuckoo heals up Arme. Arme's allowed to back off of the chains. Magic Missile catches out the Omni Knight. They'll get a second LGD. The rest of TNC, they have to scatter. Escape this area. It's gonna get there pretty soon, and now they're going for Roche. I mean, he's already been terrifying. I mean, 10-1 in, in three, he's 13 yeah. of the 14 kills for his team. Man, it's going crazy this game. 30 seconds until Black Hole. We'll see if they're able to push PSG LGD away from the pit. Long enough to buy time for that. They're trying to get in Chalice. RP. He's going to go for the RP on Gabby. Just make sure that Arme can finish up Roche, get the Aegis, and now they're ready to fight. Arme moves it with the BKB. They found Tims. Tims, he's in trouble. He's caught on the front lines. He's gone. No Enigma for 50 seconds. Chalice does die on the side. There's Gabby. He's leading in. Still has the Omni Slash to play with. The Magic Missile down upon him. It's Searing Chains not going to connect here for the moment from maybe, but Gabby's Save. still in. They're there's the controller from FY, heads him with a snowball. He'll now commit with the Omni Slash. He's doing quite a bit of damage, but not enough to kill him as now they can turn. Another stop from X Nova. Blade Fury's back online on the side, maybe splitting the rest of the team away from him, but still the GA comes out with the Axe, keeping Gabby safe. Armey's put the Shadow Dance, though he's moving in, taking those Essence Shifts, getting that stats stolen up and build up on the Slark. See what they can do. There's Gabby, still feeling confident to farm out. At least knows when there's no RP, there's a little less warrior being grabbed out after the Blade Fury. Maybe sets up a remnant here and he's picking up an Arcane Rune bottom. So Arcane Rune Ember Spirit coming up into this fight. So what they can do to Arme, bring him low. 
get forced back, and of course, no Aegis, so it has to be a little careful. They'll now try and get it onto the back lines, another route onto the two of them with these chain spam from maybe. Snowball is there as well from FY, dodging up the x mark combo. BKB is committed. They're straight in jump for from Army. Oh, Dan, he gets the black, black hole. hole. It buys the time for the Cannot say his name enough. A game that really was slipping away for TNC. A game that it, it looked impossible to get off a game-changing black hole like that. And Tim's goes ahead and does it. Changes the potential fate of this whole game, this whole series. As TNC, they're taking another army. He's still not buying back. Using to buy back. He's lost two racks. There's no one to defend. RP. Now got the RP. Chalice drags back the two of them. Gabby there with a blow to Blade Fury away, and Armel still very beefy. Maybe he's committing. At well, least trying it with a BKB. X over. Will be able to swap Armel away. The GA comes out. AU does fall. Kuku goes for the TP attempt, but the All Scepter will cancel it. Maybe jumps in. Focusing Armel. Armel. BKB tries for the CP, but there's the cancel. F flies in with the uppercut. Armel still. Almost certainly going to die, just going to try and get as much damage out as he can before he does. And they will finally get him. Arme continues to chase down Cuckoo. As Cuckoo bashed up, this is a potential for a lot of stats to be built up by the slot. As Cuckoo is trapped with no escape, LGD, they will get another, but they lost the full set of racks. Myth, they lost the melee racks top. With a full Octarine, yeah, so those, very scary. Those double RPs, you got to watch out. A lot of plays, a lot of ways to sort of bait out a GA, then coming again after it. GA still unavailable for now. Just all eyes on Tim's. X Nova is so prepared. Level 18 now too, so he has the higher range swap. That's Tim's. He's gonna go in. He's gonna lead it straight away with a black hole. He's controlling Army up. Army did the kill off the Aegis. The turtle was another. They found X Nova as well. Chalice commits with the first RP. Army's back with the second one. But Chalice stood up by the X Well. Double kill for Tim's. The man, the myth, the legend. And they're not done yet as they force PSG LGD away from the base. They've got to get out of there. Maybe if the Ember comes in with a remnant, they might look to jump this. They wanted to, but they're a little bit they're a little bit hesitant here. It's all about the jump from the smoke. Gabby leads in. Maybe he's going to head in. Down to spells the smoke. Gabby's known. They know where he's at. Chains will catch the two of them. Chains on Tim's. Has the back off. Greaves his pop. Maybe he's going to come in now with the BKB. Try and start the fight off, but it's going to wear out. It's not a long duration anymore. But now the BKB has gone. Arme will find the squishy. AU's gone out the back line of it all, but now the boat comes in. Maybe he's AU. They've got maybe. He's been outplayed. They go. Tim's is in. The black hole again. Gets the two of them. Shuts them down. Now the RP comes out, but the GA's here. Ready to go for Cuckoo as they can fight up for TNC. PSG LGD. They have to scatter. They Maybe committing with his buyback has the DD rune, but FY left behind. Gabby on a killing spree, silent on a baby, drag back the torrent combo won't catch him. Another remnant gets him back out of safety. He's still trying to poke them with this DD rune. Another slight of fist and chains onto our male. But they're without two heroes on LGD. And if of the black holes that he's been producing so far are anything to go by, you can absolutely understand why he goes full out on this purchase. He knows. He knows he can do it. Oh yeah. Two minutes, a long res respawn here for Roshan. Teams camping the ruins here. He's gonna spawn Arme. They've got the Hex reveal. Jump in. The two double minutes are still playing on these last combo. Oh my down. god. Gabby with the double kill. The soul bite again. Catches the two of them. Chalice is gone. FY as well. Four dead. As TNC make a beautiful jump there from the high ground. The Hex, the soul bite, abyssal combo. It was all there. The Soulbind attaches to him, so they both get a whistle. They can't do anything. They just get brought down because of it. They've got to use oh these buybacks. God. The range racks is taken from the top lane. Three buybacks having to come out from PSG LGD to stop TNC from going. The Soulbind on two, and that swap, as you say, setting up the second connection onto Chalice. Four kills. Easily taken in there. We've just seen it. A pickup from maybe. As they... As I say, without buybacks, but on the other hand, TNC, they've got four ready, and even AU, he'll have his back up in a minute. Yep. DD Rune gets popped. This is where LGD, the PSG LGD, they're trying to get some type of fight here. They have to try to stop this Roche. Eyes on Tim's. Go for the jump in FY, he gets the kickoff. 
Ooh. Boots him away. Gappy does get booted pretty far. But the snowboarder dodged the Xbox, tried to force up the high ground, but he gets forced back down. Maybe miscommunication there for Drew, but Chalice, he's able to find the setup, gets the RP. They set up it with the GA, he came out before the second one was there. So they cannot follow up with the physical damage, and now Chalice gets a pistol blade down. Then without the Magus, Tims has the control onto FY. They should set up a second, FY will still get the snowball out. Tims, post the refresh, he's got a second black hole ready for the bigger kills. It doesn't matter, maybe though, they've already killed two. The black hole, the second black hole. This was his game, and he has done it. He really has. There's three dead. The rapier hits the deck. Three heroes without buyback. 26k gold lead. Just go down that mid. It's time for them to take their victory. TNC, they've got it. GG. GG. Gold. As TNC take game two. Two. Zero beating LGD. One of the most explosive comebacks I've seen in quite a while. Tim's. Oh my god, Tim's. LGD have to be pretty upset with themselves there. In particular, X Nova, unable to get that swap there in that position because he was there, but Tim's finding a perfect opportunity for his team to just bring it completely back when they were 10k, 12k, 15k gold behind. He's able to do it. Look at them, guy, the crowd. They love it. I mean, how could you not after seeing a performance like that? Everybody knows TNC. Everybody's seen them. But their road of constant improvement has forever just got better and better.